Shivani, it's your best friend Jay Raj. I'm here to do this Vogue video thing you're making me do for free. Yeah, come inside. Coming. Welcome. What up, what up? So, where are you right now? I'm in Cleveland at my parents' home. And what's your favorite part about living here? That I get to create more memories with the people I love here. What are three things you can't leave home without? Definitely my phone, a really good lip balm, and those instant chai packets because sometimes you just need a caffeine boost, you know? Or maybe you're just an addict. Anyways, what were you doing before I got here? I was responding to a few emails. What are you working on right now? Currently, I am pitching myself as an influencer to a few brands. I am working on producing a new talk show and potentially even launching a new collection. Wow, and how does all that compare to the different things you have done in the past? In Mumbai, I was truly living my Bollywood dream. I was interviewing Bollywood celebrities, modeling in ad campaigns, acting in YouTube sketches, the works. So clearly there's a lot that you can do. What is something you cannot do or refuse to do? I refuse to put pineapples in pizza. That is gross. Facts. In fact, anyone watching right now that does that, just turn it off. We don't want you here. No, please, please keep watching. <laughs> what are your top three favorite foods? It would have to be number one, Mumbai ki roadside safe puri khoop tikhi mirchi ke saath. Two would be my mom's rajma chawal with kacha piyaz and a nice chipotle burrito bowl. Now as your friend, I really know how weird you are. But what would you say is your weirdest food habit? That I literally add sriracha sauce to everything. By the way, can I give you some chai? Yeah, I'd love some. So what gets you up in the morning? Figuratively, it would be that I feel like I don't have enough hours in the day to do what I want to do, but literally it's just me blasting Akhmadi in the morning. <laughs> Classic. So what's your morning routine like? Thank you. Cheers. In theory, I'd like to be one of those people that drinks warm water and lemon, but in reality, I'm just scrolling on Instagram in the morning. <laughs> the chai is fantastic, by the way. Who taught you how to make chai? Ironically, my mom, even though she's never had a cup of chai in her life. What's something else your mom has taught you? Mummy's taught me to take risks, to look at the world through a fiercely optimistic lens, and to speak up and out even when it's easier not to. And what's something you learned from your dad? Dad always quotes that hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard, and to save money earlier onwards because gotta wrap that in my ready blood. <laughs> what's one thing you had to learn the hard way? That it's impossible to convince everyone of your intention. And what's one thing you love most about your wonderful parents? That they gave me the space to fall and allowed me to learn on my own how to get back up. What's one thing you admire about your grandparents? My grandparents immigrated to this country without anything and truly set the foundation for myself and my family. I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for their sacrifices. When are you the most inspired? After watching a Gary Vee video or reading a Jay Shetty post for sure. <laughs> Alright, going outside. Which season do you think mirrors your personality? Definitely summer. I'm one of those people that is perpetually cold. <laughs> if you could switch lives with one person, who would it be? Michelle Obama in a heartbeat. Hey, Shrey. What's up, dude? <laughs> no, no, back on me. So, what's one thing that your little brother Shreyans does that annoys you? Okay, so Shreyans does this thing that he'll come and be like, Didi, I need some advice. Then I'll give it to him. For 30 minutes, he'll argue with me about that advice. And in the end, he'll end up doing what I asked him to do. Like, just quit the arguing, dude. Didi, give me my towel. <laughs> yeah, one sec. What's one thing that you love about Shreyans? Shreyans has this uncanny, goofy smile 24-7 and this ability to make everyone in a room laugh. Oh, so cute. Thanks, Ray. Whoa, you have a really nice backyard. <laughs> now, what's the best thing that happened to you this year? Getting engaged to Sham. How did you meet Sham? We were dance partners at our college Diwali show. It was quite a Bollywood story, which you were a part of. Hashtag third wheel for life, matcha. So now I'm going to put you on the spot. Show me your three favorite dance moves. Go. So classic Daisy girl, gotta do the little thumka. Then a nice graceful spin. Fun fact, I learned Kathak for six years. And then finally like SRK, 
Mahi Ve. Stay tuned for the big fat Sangeet's production at the wedding. Amazing. Now, if you had to go skydiving with one Bollywood celebrity, who would it be? Ritha Groshan, because I want to redo Zindagi Na Medigi Dabara the proper way, not just with you and Sham. <laughs> if you could swap closets with any celebrity, who would you pick? Deepika Padukone. God, she's beautiful. Now, what's a must-have clothing item everyone should own right now? Right now, I'd say a really cute and comfy jogger set. If there was something you could change about the fashion and beauty industry, what would it be? I would say for more South Asian representation, to see more transparency in general, and just more mentorship regarding how to enter and excel in these industries. Five years from now, what do you want to achieve personally and professionally? Professionally, it would be to pave a path that opens thousands of job opportunities. And personally, it would be to continue to live a life led with purpose and with intention. Wholesome. And now, final question. What is one thing about yourself that you hope never changes? I hope the inner goofy child in me never dies. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for your time, Shivani Bhavna. Venmo me, dude. Get out of here. Get out of here.